Hey, America. Chef John, get it going, man. And it's prime rib. And it's my birthday. And we're going to do some cooking. I got the chicken already thawed. I've got homemade barbecue sauce. This is that cost me a dollar twenty-five. Homemade, no high fructose corn syrup. So let's do this. Fresh rosemary. I'm listening to Dr. King in the background because all his videos are up now, and they weren't up for almost 40 years. And now they've all been released. They're all on YouTube. Means something. All right. That's what it means, man. Long, long time coming. And he reversed the question. Long, long time coming. If I do not stop to help this man, if I do not stop to help this to man, him? what will happen to me? Not if I stop to help the sanitation workers, what will happen to my job? Not if I stop to help the sanitation workers, what will happen to all of the hours that I usually spend in my office every day and every week as a pastor? Question is not. If I stop to help this man in need, what will happen to me? So, the question is, if I do not stop to help the sanitation workers, what will happen to them? That's the question. Mm -hmm. If we do not stop to help the poor, the ghettos, what will happen to them? With a greater readiness. A greater readiness. Let us stand with a greater determination and let us move on in these powerful days Our these days of challenge to make America what it ought to be yeah we have an opportunity to make America a better nation a better nation I want to thank God you feel me all? Amen. And if you don't believe in amen, who roll? If you don't believe in who roll, happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> amen. That was garlic powder. Don't want to use much. I don't have white wine. You, Martin Luther King, and I was looking down writing, and I said, yes. Pickle juice. The next minute, I felt something beating on my chest. Before I knew it, I had been stabbed by this demented woman. I was rushed to Holland Hospital. It was a dark Saturday afternoon. That blade had gone through and the x-rays revealed that the tip of the blade was on the edge of my aorta, the main artery. And once I punctured, man willing to die for it. Blood, that's the end of you. Did you meet somebody else who's willing to and die for it? In the Peace up. Times the next morning that if I had merely sneezed, I would have died. Merely sneeze. Merely falling over one after more time. After my chest had been opened and the blade had been taken out. To move around in the wheelchair. Mine wasn't hospital. done by a mad woman. It was by done by mad cops. From all over the states and the world. I'm telling you, America. I read a few, but you know what the truth is. I will never forget. Um, most of us Afro-Americans love the each other and love America. And most white people love each other and love America. And the yellow people do. And, and a letter from the governor of New York, but I've forgotten what that letter said. Yes. But that was another letter. Right. It came from a little girl, a young girl, who was a student at the White Plains High School. And I looked at that letter, and I'll never forget it. Said, simply, dear Dr. King, I am a ninth grade student at the White Plains High School. That's, um, said, uh, why did, uh, why did white wine? To mention that I'm a white girl. I read in the paper of your misfortune 
This is a child. And I read that if you had sneezed, you would have died. Child. I'm simply writing you to say that I'm so happy. A child. That you didn't sneeze. A child, amen. I want to say tonight. The voice of a child, amen. Do you hear me? Look at that. Amen. It's the voice of the children. I wouldn't have been around here in 1960. When students all over the South started sitting in the I am, we are. And I knew that as Abel sitting in the up is. The brothers together, the all of us, America, black, white, cops, gangsters, all of us. Amen. Beat by the founding fathers in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Yes. If I had sneezed, I wouldn't have been around. We are here for the children. No other we reason. We decided to take a ride for freedom. Amen. And ended segregation in interstate travel. 